Hello, please excuse my popsicle stick. This is how we're doing audio today. I discovered an amazing new AI tool and I wanted to show you how I use it for product photography, how I'm incorporating AI into my workflows and to give you some ideas on how you can use it too. So the tool is called Google Whisk and it's kind of like Midjourney, but the idea is that you are blending images together to create something new and unique instead of trying to describe an image from scratch. So I'll jump in and show you it's not perfect. It takes a little bit of finessing, but what's great about it is that once you blend the images together, it provides you the text and the copy that it used and created from your images. And then you can go in and just tweak that to what you need. So it, it is really great. So let's jump in and I'll show you. So here we are on Google labs and they have several different um, AI experiments that they are working on right now, but we are going to go to whisk. So if I click, try it now, it's going to take me to this page where it's just going to start with a style and a subject. I'm going to start from scratch because I don't want to use their examples. So now I have the ability to add a subject, a scene and a style. And if you want, you can add more. I usually just like to stick with two because it doesn't usually generate the best images if you have too many. So I have gone ahead and picked some products that I have on hand that I want to photograph and some styles that I want to shoot as. So I have this product. Um, it is a moisturizing cream and I want to do a texture shot. And I found this image on Pinterest and I like how it's got harsh styling. The cream is underneath and we've got some fun shadow play. And so I am going to drag that into my scene and it is going to take those two images and combine it. Now I can add more information in the style if I want. Maybe I wanted to say on a pink background instead of a yellow background. And I'm going to click generate takes a second for it to populate because it is also generating an image right here. And I am going to go ahead and start the little blender whisk, whatever you want to call it. So it's going to take a second to combine the images and we'll see what it generates. So first thing I like this image, but it's populating a second product because it sees this product in my scene and it's thinking that I want them both. So what I can do is I can click on this image here and see exactly what the prompt was. And I can go ahead and get rid of or add anything that I don't want. So right here, it says a yellow tube of hand cream and I am going to get rid of it. So all the way up until that point. And now I am going to regenerate it. So that's already looking really good. I really like this one, but what I'm going to now add is um, I liked that shadow play. So I'm going to just give some more description to what I want. So I'm just going to add this blurb about how I want it to have harsh shadows across the corners of the image, kind of like a window with shining a light on the scene. And then we will click generate. And I really like how this one turned out. I also like how there's little splotches on the background as well. So now that I am happy with this, I could download this and I could add it to a client proposal. I could add it to my shot list. And now I've got a unique image that I'm not copying this image Exactly. I'm adding my own unique flair and style, but this is just a really good way to visualize what you're going to do for a client. So one of the ways that I've been using this tool is to create really unique proposals for clients. And it has helped me to land some pretty big projects because the client is able to see exactly what their image could look like with the product in it. And I know that a lot of people are scared that AI is going to take over their job as a product photographer, but we're not at that point yet. So I think it's just important to utilize AI and 
take advantage of the capabilities that it's offering at the moment. If you want to see the behind the scenes of how I created this image using the Google Whisk generated images, I've linked that in the description below. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you watching and supporting, and I will see you in the next one.